as I set up the recording equipment, here is the background to the story. Mark Gilchrist shot a white fox. Leucistic, not albino, so an unusual animal, but not a rare one. It is a fox, after all, not a separate species. The comments start coming in within minutes of our film going onto YouTube, and they are complimentary. Sharpshooter HVM says, Get it mounted by a pro taxidermist, not an amateur. That's a trophy of a lifetime. But then the antis get hold of the film, and these are not just any antis, these are the head banging saboteur variety. First, he suggests to Mark that someone might put a bullet through your skull. Fee says that Mark deserves nothing more than pain and misery for the rest of his worthless days. Meanwhile, says the crosshairs are put on this bloke's forehead. After a few goes, I get through to one of these offending antis. Hello. Oh, hello. Um, my name's Charlie Jacoby. Um, I'm calling from uh, people you probably don't like very much. We're called Field Sports Channel. I'm just following up something from November. Um, there was uh, quite a lot of anger um, about uh, one of our lot called Mark Gilchrist, who was shooting a... The guy that killed two foxes, two white foxes, which are apparently very rare. That's... The that's... News article said. That's right, that's the one, yes, exactly. Yeah, well, I was quite a little bit peed off at the time. There were a lot of quite angry comments made and a lot of kind of personal threats against Mark. Um, and, and, and one of them came from you. Well, it's nothing compared to murdering animals, is it? Well, compared to that, it's nothing at all. I see. Um, you, you see, we, we, we think it is. <laughs> we think that, um, uh, that threatening people is, is bad and shooting foxes well, is perfectly normal. There were no threats going on at all. I think you, you, you put his um, mobile phone I number. merely pointed out that his behaviour was quite primitive and backwards and uh, not fitting in with the modern world. I see, OK. And, uh, and I made no threats whatsoever. You did recommend that people ring him up and tell them what they think of him after you put his mobile... People should tell him what they think, because this behaviour is unacceptable. But no, no point did I make threats. You did say that, that uh, people should make a lot of bookings at his restaurant and then not turn up. That was one of the things you said. Is that, I mean, does that, does that, is that unacceptable or not quite? Well, I can't remember that comment, but if I did, so what? Yeah, OK. His behaviour is primitive, backwards, and it belongs in the Neolithic period. But your, your behaviour is not, not what we call cyberbullying. People have a right to express their opinion. Right. I think that's a clearly doesn't love us very much. <laughs> Cyberbullying is unacceptable, and leaving death threats on YouTube is plain stupid. Here is Sherry Adami from the bullying watchdog beatbullying.org. To harass and abuse someone and make death threats online or indeed offline is unacceptable. Whilst we might not, you know, agree with fox hunting or, you know, to, to use a digital platform to, to harass someone else is, is, you know, in our view, it's absolutely not the, the, an appropriate thing to, 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 uh, to do.